Welcome back to another episode of Big John's Cooking. Today, we're going old school again. Neck bones and spaghetti. Check it out. All right, this is a real simple dish. We got the neck bones. We're going to add some onions, some garlic. Got some crushed uh, tomatoes. And we got a pasta. Easy peasy. Can't get any simpler than that. I mean, you could add extra. You can do... You know, of course, we're going to salt and pepper it, you know, uh, maybe put a little sugar in there to uh, offset the acidity of the tomatoes, just a little bit, maybe a teaspoon. Uh, you can go with celery, bell pepper, you know, the, it's endless of what you can put in here to, to suit your taste. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go real simple today. Uh, we're feeling like some neck bones. Uh, my wife mentioned it sounded good to her. I'm a little surprised. She is not a neck bone person. Uh, but we'll see. I'm not going to cook very much because I don't want to get stuck with a, a lot of leftovers and uh, find myself struggling to get it done. So what I may do a little different is when I get my neck bones done, I may pick the some of the meat off the bone, so it's not going to look like it would at, on your grandma's table. Your grandma would cook the neck bones up and uh, throw the, the pasta in there, cook that, mix them together with the tomatoes and the onions and the garlic, salt and pepper, and you, uh, you had to eat the meat off the bone. But I'm going to take it off the bone and make it a little easier. A little more advertising, maybe I can slip it in on, on my wife and she not know what it is. So stick around, bring you back when I got this started, here in a second. Alright, I got my neck bones washed. And this is the one time you'll see me do this. I'm going to... I'm not seasoning these just yet. I'm going to let these cook for about 15 minutes to get that first boil going there. Just, and I'm going to pour out that water and uh, rinse them off and start to boil again. I'm trying to get all the impurities and the foam. I'm working towards a, a clear liquid. I mean I'm not looking for a perfectly clear but not so cloudy. So bear with me with this. Let me get this going. Come back to a boil. Get some of that foam coming up. I'm going to give it a rinse and do another boil. We add some salt pepper to that. See what we got. If we get any more foam coming up We'll just skim that off. So stick around. Bring you right back. Okay, that's the foam that I'm talking about. So I'm gonna take this, run it under the water, and dump some of it off. Looks kind of good here. Refill it. Excuse my breathing. I know it can get kind of loud sometimes. Got the bronco problem. Thank you. 
go. Turn that off. Cut down on some of that noise. Now, I'm going to go with some seasoning salt and some uh, complete seasoning. Love this stuff. Hit it with a couple of grinds of freshly cracked black pepper. And you know my round of season is not complete without some MSG. I think we're good to go. Let this come back up to boil. See where we're at. There's a little foam floating around there. I'm going to leave it. Mainly because there's a lot of my seasoning that's in there with it. And it's not anything that's going to cause me any serious distress. So we're going to roll with it. It ain't the, it's more bubbles than that than the foam that you you get in the uh, first boil that you do add me a little garlic to the party set this aside cause we may add some more when we get ready to cook our pasta so I'm let these cook get tender Pull them out and let them cool off. I'm going to leave a couple of holes just to give you that old school effect. And then we'll cook our pasta. Stick around. All right. I got my neck bones out. Cooling. And like I said, I'm just going to put a little bit of pasta in here. Not a whole lot. But this will be just for me. That should be enough to make a meal tonight and some lunch tomorrow. Looks good. All right. Everybody's in the party. We're going to let that come up back up to a boil. Wait till the pasta get done. We we'll add our tomatoes. I already put garlic and onions in the water. All we need is the tomatoes and we're good to go. All right. Sorry about the noise. Got the liquid drained off of here. I'm gonna use just about a half that can on that. I'm gonna let this cook for a little while. Reduce that liquid just a, just a little bit. Just with the thicken up attraction. I bring you back. As soon as it starts to thicken up, I'm going to add some of this shredded meat in here. Toss a couple of these bones in here to soak up some of that tomato flavor. That's how grandmas used to look. Alrighty, add my shredded meat in, get me a spoon to give this a, a stir. I added me a little parcel on top for color, but uh, go ahead and turn that off. Looks good, smells good. I'm getting ready to have supper. Uh, the, the meat is really tender and tasty. I ate some earlier. 
while it was cooling. Put a little hot sauce on them, them neck bones, lip smacking good. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, tell a friend about me, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification so you can get all the videos as I download them, or upload them, sorry. Uh, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.